Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Mandy and today it's Friday. <laughs> I have another huge grocery haul. Ugh. Last week, I think I spent like $400 and I said this week I was just hopefully gonna have a small amount of things for Christmas. I don't even know what my total was. I had ordered delivery from Smith's and Walmart. At Smith's, I ordered two like quarter hams and online, the price that was showing for the ham was $4.99 because it was like a one pound ham. And I was like, man, that'd be perfect for us because we don't need a lot of ham. And so I got two. Well, my, my receipt was showing before she checked out and it, I don't know how that's possible, but it was, it was showing like $20 hams. And I contacted um, customer service immediately and I was like, I don't want two 20 pound hams or two $20 hams. I just wanted the small ones and um, they took it off my, they took it off or took it out of my cart, I guess. I don't know. My shopper was able to put it back before she checked out. Anyway, I have a whole bunch of stuff. So I went to Bash's yesterday. I set that stuff out. I have Smith's and Walmart for you. And Walmart was out of mini cucumbers and I ordered two bags. Um, we've been loving eating those like on a veggie tray as a snack and eggnog, no. <laughs> so I put in a, just a really small uh, Kroger pickup order for my son to pick up today when he's done running his errands. So it has eggnog and it has mini cucumbers and that's it. And uh, yeah. So I know I spent like $250 at Walmart and then Last night at Bash's, I spent like $40. And I, like I said, I don't know what Kroger is. I'll look really quick before I show you guys and I'll let you know when I turn the camera around. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you guys are ready for Christmas. I mean, today's Friday the 23rd. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve, so exciting. I will not talk to you again until after Christmas, but I hope you guys have a super blessed Christmas. I hope you get to spend lots of family time with all of your loved ones and I just hope it's wonderful. And I just want to tell you all how much I appreciate each and every one of you. I am almost at 500 subscribers. I haven't checked this morning, but um, I just, I just feel so blessed to have each and every one of you subscribe to my channel and come back and watch my videos. I just, I so appreciate it. Um, I am so excited for Christmas. I, I always am, but I am super excited. So, all right, let me get you turned around and show you all the things that I got. All right, here is an overview, all of the stuff. Uh, this should last us for a good long time. I know I always say that, but it really should. Um, I will probably go shopping again next week because in the month of January, I'm going to be doing something new. So I want to make sure I go shopping every week. Anyway, so I don't know what Kroger's total is because it still says $53 with fifth, um, $35 worth of ham in my cart. So I'm going to say $20. Uh, which means I spent, I don't know, $300. Ay, ay, ay. 310? I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's just get right into it. Bashes is uh, my local store. They had some meat on sale again. This ground beef, what is this? 8020. It was on sale for $2.77 a pound. Anyway, you can make lots of comfort meals with ground beef. We do meatloaf, Salisbury steak, all kinds of stuff. I got brats just because we've been eating them like crazy and I wanted to have them in the freezer for a quick dinner. I still had a coupon on my account for $2.66. 66? 
Yeah, I think so. So I got another pound of butter. I also got that zero sugar root beer. I'm kind of over it. I'm I'm really not in the mood for a soda. Um, oh my gosh, I just said um again. <laughs> I haven't really been drinking it, but there is an occasion where everyone else is having a soda and I don't wanna have water and I will drink it. So I just got that two liter to kind of like finish out the year for me, honestly. I don't really wanna drink it anymore. I don't feel like the zero sugar uh, is very good for you and I just would like to avoid it. I just want to drink water and I don't know. I'll probably replace it with something, but it's not going to be zero sugar soda. I really like those clear Americans from Walmart, but gosh, it's like a sugar replacement too. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but as of right now, I don't really want to drink this anymore. So I also got four more sodas because they were still four for $12.88, which is the best price around right now. I got two more 12 packs of Coke, uh, a and W root beer, and a orange crush. I think that was it for bashes. Yes, that was my $40. So this meat, the sodas. I think that was it, and the butter. Okay, now at Smith's, which is my Kroger store, um, I had a couple coupons. <laughs> And that's really the only reason I had it delivered, honestly. Like, I wanted the ham because it seemed like a good deal for a small ham. But anyway, I didn't get the ham. These were new. I had a coupon. These are Ruffles. What does that say? Ridge Twists. This is a smoky barbecue flavor. We like barbecue chips. Um, we all like chips. We're going to be having some sandwiches for lunch. So I got those. All right, I interrupt this grocery haul to share these twist chips with you. Uh, these are a no for me. When, <clears throat> excuse me. When you open the bag, uh, the smell is like that like fake smoke flavor. You know what I'm talking about? Like You know how you can add that liquid smoke to your food? That is what I smell. These are very smoky, so if you're into that, you'll probably like them. Actually, it's not the flavor that's it's so bad, it's the texture. I guess I was kind of thinking like the Frito Twists when I bought these, but no, these are not that. These are very chalky, like, um, gosh, I don't even know what to like compare it to. You know the Popcorners chips? that they sell, that's like the texture of this, but because it's like twisted in a twist, I don't know, when I bite down on it, all I can think is chalkboard. So if you're into that, go ahead and try them. But if not, I say, don't do it. <laughs> Hopefully the kids will eat them. <laughs> all right, back to the grocery haul. I got more coffee, I didn't need it. I actually made a mistake. Last time I bought the purple box, whatever that is, and this time for whatever reason I instantly got the blue one, but I mean it's a medium roast. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm not going to mind. I got mayonnaise. I am completely out, and there was a coupon on that. What else did I get? I ordered a two liter of Sprite. Oh no, that was for Walmart, but anyway, I did order a two liter. They gave me two of these 1.25 liters instead. Okay, sorry, uh, my son was leaving and I wanted to say goodbye. Um, so anyway, they substituted those, I paid more, it's fine. I wanted some Sprite for a like punch that we make, usually um, Thanksgiving and Christmas, it's just Sprite, uh, pineapple juice, but this time I got pineapple orange because I saw, I saw a recipe that used pineapple and orange juice. So I got pineapple orange juice because I like to drink that also. And it calls for cranberry juice, but I canned my own cranberry juice during Thanksgiving. So I already have cranberry juice. And the last thing I think I got was these, were these waffles. I got the cinnamon and the buttermilk. It was like save a dollar if you bought two. So that was it for Smith's. Now everything else is going to be Walmart. I feel like I have you too far zoomed out. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay. Now let's just get right into it. 
I saw this on someone else's channel. It's a problem with watching grocery hauls on YouTube. It makes you add stuff to your cart you wouldn't normally add anyway. I got this thick sliced brioche bread. I thought this would be great for French toast since me and the kids are all at home right now. Uh, I got these sesame seed brioche buns. We will have either hamburgers or chicken sandwiches or something over the break. So I got those just to have, not necessarily on the meal plan, but I mean, we will be eating it at some point. I also got these Hawaiian sweet rolls. I feel like I should have got another one of these, but there's only four of us now, so I don't know. I think it'll be plenty. I am going to make roast beef sliders. I am thinking Christmas Eve just to have something easy. Uh, we'll see. We will see. I got a one of these Nutella to go snacks. I just got this with Caitlin in mind. I, it popped up online and um, she really likes these. So I got that for her. I got a big jar of Alfredo sauce. This is 22 ounces. I have shrimp and chicken. I don't know. We'll have some kind of Alfredo. Oh, you know what? I ordered a spaghetti squash and it is not here. Okay. Oh, well, that's okay. Uh, I got these French style green beans. I got the Great Value brand because they're only 50 cents right now. So I thought uh, for green bean casserole, we could use the Great Value green beans. The pineapple I also got at Smith's. It's 97 cents. The last one, I got two last week and the one I cut up was so sweet. The other one's in the fridge ready for me to cut up. I will pop both of these in the fridge and we will cut them up as we want them. I got a two pack of cream cheese. I told you I got the Simply Orange with pineapple. I got one more French vanilla creamer for my coffee and Caitlin's. Um, I got half and half and heavy whipping cream. I bought those at Thanksgiving and I just really enjoyed having them and using them throughout the month. So I just got two more of those. I may whip up my own whipped cream for dessert on Christmas, but I don't know. We have other stuff if not. Coming up here to the produce, I just got five bananas, I think. One, yeah, five bananas. Um, some of us eat them and some of us don't. So <laughs> usually at least a couple go brown and I put them in the freezer for banana bread. I took the easy road and I got a small bag of already cut up cauliflower and broccoli. Those are just going to be to snack on on like a veggie tray. Along with the baby carrots, we have been eating a ton of baby carrots. I cooked them the other night. I need to show you guys how I cook them. I boil them in a pot in beef broth, and then I add a little bit of like um, brown gravy packet, but I have the big container. And it's like carrots that, you know when you make like a beef stew or like a beef pot roast, they're Oh my gosh, they're so good. They're like beefy and tender and so delicious. But also we've been eating them raw. So lots of carrots. And they're a super good price right now. Actually, a lot of the produce is really good price at Walmart right now. I don't know why, but it is. I'm not complaining. Um, I did get a head of iceberg lettuce for sandwiches and stuff. I ordered a regular Caesar salad. They substituted this bacon Caesar, which is fine. Okay, sorry, another interruption. I got this pre-cut celery also for snacking, but I need it for um, stuffing. So I cut up stuffing and onions and put it in stuffing. I cut up celery and onions and put it in my stuffing. I got one sweet potato. I'm the only one that likes them. So I just got one and that thing was a dollar. I don't know, that seems like a lot for me. I got a bag of carrots. Caitlin and I have been, we, we have found a new um, road to jog on and at the end of the, the two and a half miles are some horses and she wants to give them some carrots. So I got a bag of whole carrots so that she could do that. I got this three pound bag of Kalos. This is a pretty good price too, like $3. 
We haven't had those in a long time. My son actually has a reaction. I think he just eats too many, but the acidity like burns the inside of his mouth. I'm sure he's eating like four or five a day to get to that point, but we're gonna try them again. We haven't had them probably in for many months. I also got a bag of apples. I'm going to make an apple pie. And I think that's all the produce. I did get these pickles. We actually have hamburger pickles in the fridge, but these are so good on like a deli sandwich. So we all love those. I got those Claussen pickles for lunch meat. I got some oven roasted turkey breast. That is a pound. And then I got this thinly sliced roast beef for the sliders. I put roast beef, provolone cheese, and french fried onions on them and we dipped them in au jus. So good. I got two gallons of 2% milk back there. It's just a really good snack we all like. It's just a box of kettle corn. There's 18 bags in there. I have one of these Martinelli's left over from Thanksgiving, so I got one more for Christmas. I got this um, whipped cream, you know, for coffee and desserts and for the kids to just squirt in their mouth. <laughs> I got a 10 pound bag of flour back there. And I also got this. Never before have I bought whole wheat flour, but I'm going to start up um, my sourdough starter again and some of the recipes I was looking at said that whole wheat flour makes a better sourdough starter than white flour so I'm really interested in seeing how that goes I will be sharing that with you guys if you're interested I got a what is this 24 I think is it 24 ounce thing of sour cream and then I also got a 16 ounce I like the 16 ounce because I can just pour the dip mix right in and, you know, leave it in the container. All right, what else? Let's just go up here. Again, I got the large burrito sized tortillas. We just eat these a lot. There's eight in there. I should have got two, honestly. This little cocktail shrimp ring, it was only like $4 and I think my husband and I are really the only ones that really like shrimp cocktail. Wesley might like it, but that's more than enough for all of us. Everybody really enjoyed the summer sausage at Thanksgiving, so I got another one to have with um, crackers, and I have black olives. I don't remember ordering string cheese. I don't know why I would have. The kids eat it so fast that I quit buying it, but I don't know. I guess I was feeling extra, <laughs> so I got a 24 count of string cheese. I've never bought this before. This is a wedge of Parmesan. I was looking at the already shredded Parmesan and it's like 222 for a bag. And this I think was only, um, I don't know, like 30 cents more. I just, it interested me. So I'm gonna shred my own Parmesan. That sounds just amazing. It'll be for um, Alfredo. I like to coat my chicken parm in Parmesan cheese instead of breadcrumbs and then fry it. If you have not tried that, it is so good. It gets like crispy, ooh, very good. Provolone for the sliders. I got some Colby Jack and Pepper Jack. I'm gonna cut some of that up for the cheese and crackers. I got an 18 count of eggs. I got some tater tots, just because we didn't have any and it sounded good, I guess. I don't know, honestly. I wanted to stock up a little bit, just wanna have things. Um, stove top, oh good, I got the twin pack. I was worried I just got one. I got the stove top stuffing. I ordered the bag of Rhodes Cinnamon rolls, they were out. I think there's 12 in there. I wanted to make a cinnamon roll Christmas tree for Christmas morning, but they substituted with this. It has six rolls in it, which is more than enough for us. It just, I won't be able to make my Christmas tree. 
I got some buttermilk biscuits because those are amazing and all you have to do is put them on a cookie sheet and put them in the oven. I also got these Texas size rolls. I think I'm gonna make my homemade rolls for Christmas, but for anything else, I love these Rhodes rolls. So I got those, um, you know, if we want some rolls or something. I got some pork egg rolls one night, possibly tonight if I can get some rice made and in the fridge. We're gonna have Chinese food. We're gonna have fried rice and egg rolls. I got these pot stickers. I think I'm the only one that likes them, but I wanted them. And I think we're having sweet and sour chicken. So um, a couple weeks ago, we made egg rolls, homemade egg rolls. And I stopped at Panda Express and got fried rice and chow mein to have on the side. And it was absolutely terrible. And my husband was like, I don't know why we didn't just make it ourselves. So that's what we're going to do. I don't know if I'm going to make chow mein, but definitely making some fried rice. I got more of this rotisserie chicken seasoning. It seems like anytime we grill anything, we put this on it. It is so good. I got sweet baby rays. I got this onion soup mix. How many are in there too? Okay. I have some, I think like Lay's wavy potato chips. I'm gonna make some onion dip to go with those at some point. I got another one of these peppermint cookies and cream ice cream. I had two of these pints in my cart and then I took one out thinking, gosh, we just have so much stuff. So I'm gonna kick myself in the butt because this is so good. Oh my gosh, Caitlin said it was just okay, but I thought it was amazing. I got three frozen pizzas just because kids are at home and sometimes I like something easy. I got two pepperonis. They didn't have a Supreme in the Great Value brand, so Jack's is a little more expensive, but I did get a Supreme because I really like that. I got four of these lemon meringue Greek yogurts. It sounded really good to me. I, they finally let me get more than two of these. I got five of these Hungry Jack hash brown potatoes. I do like something sweet on Christmas morning and then we have a big breakfast. It's kind of been something that um, we've always done. My grandma always made a great big breakfast. So I'll make the cinnamon rolls and then we'll have like hash browns and bacon and eggs and all kinds of stuff. Um, I got some more gift wrap tape and I also got these flushable wipes and I think that is everything so meal plan <laughs> let's just think of it right now so we're gonna have the Chinese night we're gonna have Christmas Eve which I think is gonna be the sliders Christmas Day is gonna be turkey stuffing mashed potatoes and gravy the day after Christmas will be leftovers we have brats. We're going to have hamburgers, I'm sure, at some point. That's six. I have a pork loin, at least one. I probably have more than one in the freezer. So I'm thinking I'll thinly slice it and make some kind of pork chops. I also have all kinds of stuff. I'm going to be giving you another pantry tour before um, January starts because I'm gonna have some new videos coming out in January and I need to show you guys everything I have again after the holidays, but I have lots of meat out there. We've got lots of stuff. So hopefully there'll be some easy meals <laughs> coming up because that's a lot of cooking for the holidays. But anyway, that's it. I hope you guys have a great day. Did I, I told you the prices, right? It was like 250 for Walmart. 40 at Bash's or Smith's, no, at Bash's, and then 20. So, yeah, I did. I said $310. $310. This is the last grocery haul before, well, before Christmas. This is a Christmas haul, guys. There will be no more <laughs> except those two things of eggnog. And what else was it? Mini cucumbers. I also added more honey nut check cereal to that order because the kids ate both boxes of checks 
in a matter of like two days. So I did get two more boxes of that. All right, and again, I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. I hope I will chat with you down in the comments. I love um, reading your guys' comments and replying. I like to have a little conversation with you guys. Anyway, that's going to be it until after Christmas. I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. I hope if you haven't yet, you will hit that subscribe button and help me get to 500 subscribers. That would be so exciting. Uh, it's exciting anyway because I'm so close. But that's it. I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and the bell if you want to be notified when I put out another video. Bye.